The Bible says in Psalms 130 verse 3 that if God were to mark people's transgressions, no one would be able to stand. And the fourth verse, he says that um, in God there is forgiveness that he may be feared. The truth of the matter is God forgives those who are not worthy to be forgiven. The most unforgivable kind of people are those whom God forgives. Take for instance when Jesus was being crucified on the cross he turned to his father in heaven and says that God forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Now remember these are people who are inflicting pain on him who are hanging him up on the cross including those who also allegedly uh, I mean raised uh, false allegations against him and claiming all sorts of things and these were the people whom Jesus Christ asked God to forgive that is why we are also in in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 asked to be kind and tender-hearted to one another and to forgive one another just as God has forgiven us through Jesus Christ if we profess then to be Christians, our behaviors ought to reflect Jesus Christ. Now, to be a Christian means that you are a follower of Jesus Christ or you are doing what Jesus Christ did or would have done. I remember there was a time where uh, this came out, uh, the people we used to put on wristbands and t-shirts written known with the acronym, I mean with, with the letters WWJD, which spelled for what would Jesus do. Now, it was in a way of, uh, of trying to cause people to think twice on their action before they, 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 they go ahead and do anything. In other words, when you're faced with a situation, you ask yourself, what would Jesus do in this situation? And then you get the answer derived from the word of God. All right. It's not from what, what is in your mind. Okay. And it's exactly what uh, what Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says that we ought to reflect and we ought to emulate what Jesus did. He forgave those who persecuted him. He forgave those who 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 um, hailed false allegations against him. We likewise ought to do the same thing. However, if we lash out with anger and frustration against those who offend us, we are actually not following God's command which says that we ought to be kind to one another and being compassionate to one another and forgiving each other just as God has forgiven us through Jesus Christ. However, if we choose the path of peace, kindness and compassion, not only are we going to be rewarded for having been obedient or for having to for having the obedience towards god's word and towards his god his command but other people are also going to be drawn to christ through us you see and in a way also being drawn towards christ means that they are also being drawn towards the marvelous light of god hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 says that strive for peace with everyone and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. In other words, we ought to strive to, uh, to see that we have peace in our midst. Now, also in the bid of striving to seek peace with everyone means that we also have to incorporate the activity or the aspect of forgiving one another. For the truth be told, it is not easy to live with people. You always step on each other's toes unless one or both of you are pretending. So bottom line is be kind to one another, show compassion to everyone and forgive as much as you can because God also forgave you. We do not forgive because we are able to. We forgive because we were forgiven for our sins. May God bless you.